In this session, I will be talking about how to overcome depression, a step-by-step -step guide on this and how to help others who are suffering from depression. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The first and most important step, and this is the most critical step, I can't stress this enough, go and see a therapist. If you can't afford it, one session every two weeks is enough, or go and see someone and speak to them. It will offload what's inside your mind and it will reduce weight you have to carry. Trust me when I tell you this, this is the biggest step you will ever have to take and once you do, you will never regret it. This is the method to use to overcome depression, anxiety, stress and panic attacks. Please follow this step by step. Step one, talk to someone, therapist, family or friends. Step two, write your thoughts down on a book daily and once you have written them, don't read them again for a few months. If you have anything to offload from your chest, simply write it down and keep adding to it. Then when you are finished with it, after a few weeks or a month, tear that piece of paper into small pieces and dispose of them. Step three, go to the park. I can't stress this enough. It is scientifically proven that green colours and plants in houses will help. Did you know being in open parks reduce your stress, anxiety and depression levels of up to 40%? So make a habit of it, even if it's a 10 minute walk daily. This will make a big difference in your life. It has been proven that people who are in open green lands generally have a happier and well balanced life. Step four, exercise. Go to the gym, join an exercise class and attend on a weekly basis. Run in the park, go for a swim. These are inexpensive methods to help you. Step five, yoga or massage. This is a must. It will help you relax and stretch your body and remove those pains you have, especially those headaches and stiff upper body pains you have. Step six, meditation or praying. This is another must and it will help you with calming your mind and giving it a break. After all that thinking, does it not need a break? This will also center your thoughts and bring focus again. Step seven, eating. You will never know how much eating affects your mind, body and soul. For example, if I eat fish and chips or a kebab every day, do you think I will be able to run around the park happily? I will probably be thinking about pizza. Do you think my mind will be active enough to think well? Foods have an impact on you. This also has been scientifically proven. Try to avoid oil and chili foods, sugars and fizzy drinks. Eat boiled foods, plenty of fruits and vegetables. Did you know nuts and seeds have a mood lifting vitamin? Step eight, this is the last step and it's important as the others, if not more so. Make time for yourself, at least one hour a day and do something you enjoy. Was there something that you wanted to do as a child but never got to do? Maybe you did and maybe you just left it behind. Like playing a musical instrument, painting, writing, dancing, learning a new language, wanting to travel, perhaps building modelled aeroplanes or landscape photography. Think about it. What do you like to do? What did you do as a child? Now is your chance to do it. It is a lot to take in, but follow these methods for two weeks and you will see a massive positive difference. You may get a day or two or three where you don't want to get out of bed or you can't be bothered to go out. You have to fight it. You have to show you are in control and you are strong. I believe in you. I believe you can overcome this and I will do what I can to help you. You are not alone in this. Just follow my steps and you will overcome this. I have helped people who are probably worse than you. It takes a lot of hard work and commitment, but I promise you, you can overcome it. There are plenty of guides and information videos on the Mind Balance app. Please download it and let me help save a life. The link is on the description below.
Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know if there's a session you would like me to do. Thank you.